Annabelle Lee. It was many and many a year ago, in a kingdom by the sea, that a maiden there lived, whom you may know by the name of Annabelle Lee. And this maiden, she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. I was a child and she was a child in this kingdom by the sea. But we loved with a love which was more than love, I and my Annabelle Lee. With a love that the winged seraphs of heaven coveted her and me. And this was the reason that long ago in this kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud, chilling my beautiful Annabelle Lee, so that her highborn kinsmen came and bore her away from me to shut her up in a sepulcher in this kingdom by the sea. The angels, not half so happy in heaven, went envying her and me. Yes, that was the reason, as all men know, in this kingdom by the sea, that the wind came out of the cloud by night, chilling and killing my Annabelle Lee. But our love, it was stronger by far than the love of those who were older than we, of many far wiser than we, and neither the angels in heaven above nor the demons down under the sea can ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And the stars never rise but I feel the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And so, all the night tide, I lie down by the side of my darling, my darling, my life, and my bride, in her sepulchre there by the sea, in her tomb by the sounding sea.